On Drop Rate is a series all about testing my luck. Each episode I will pick one or multiple activities to do and one specific unique to get from those activities. But there is a twist. I am only able to do this activity until I am exactly on Drop Rate. Kill 5000 Listen Men Shamans to get a Dragon Warhammer. Defeat 512 Venonares to achieve a Treasonous Ring or loot 300 Rifts to obtain an Abyssal Needle are all ideas going by this rule. To spice it up even further, if I manage to get the item within the limited attempts, I get to keep everything I earned including the unique item. If I do not get it however, I have to forfeit half of all the money I earned during the grind to one of you guys, the viewers. But now, let's get into the video. Welcome to another episode of the on drop rate series. In the last one we did some Vorkath for 1000 KC and I think it's about time that we actually do some skilling bosses because I have not done anything except for combat so far and that is why we're going to be going for the Abyssal Needle from the Guardians of the Rift in this video. The Abyssal Needle is 1 in 300 drop rates so we're going to be doing a maximum of 300 permits with increments of 100 at a time and this is the gear I'm going to be using, I have it in my inventory, it is basically just full graceful with Varrock Armor 1, it's the highest one I have sadly. It's not very good, but it works, it does its job. And then we have bought the Dragon Pickaxe Upgrade Kit, so we're going to be doing that for some Fashion Scape. Let's equip that Dragon Pickaxe. Looks uh, a bit over the top, maybe. Before we get into it, of course, we have a massive giveaway to do. 1,266 entries in the comments, that is a lot of participation, love to see it. But it is 75 million giveaway from my Vorkat video, the winner is going to be Dark Light Place. His in-game name is Stebs, I've never killed Vorkat, <laughs> well now you've at least watched the video on it. And uh, yeah, grats to you, I'm going to be giving you the money. And there he is, he is in the God Dehyde with a Dragon Crossbow. I think this money is going to be enough to upgrade that range gear, maybe with an Armadale Crossbow or something like that. So, congratulations to you, Stebs. Dark Light Plays on YouTube for the 75.6 million giveaway. Now before we get into the grind, I have 61 runecrafting and I have actually not done the quest to even access the minigame, so that's something we have to do first. I actually think this is like the fifth time just this week I've helped people talking Spanish and I've just helped them with quests or I've helped them at like Puro Puro or stuff like that uh, and uh, I'm just using Google Translate, it's always fun to do. And here we go, this is the end of the quest, 5000 runecrafting experience and the Temple of the Eye. As well as the Spanish guy I'm trying to help. I'm going to be using the mass words for this and how I'm going to be tracking the loot by the way, which is going to be how many runes I get from this grind, is by doing this. I just sold every single rune that I have except for the ones I have in my rune pouch, which is all I need for NPC contact and I'm going to be using this to repair my pouches through the dark mage, because running all the way there is not the most convenient thing, so I'm just using this basically. And all the other runes I can just track by seeing how many I have in my bank, so that should be an easy thing to do. This minigame really revolutionized runecrafting and uh, we're going to feel the benefits of that. The first benefits of that rather, right now for the first runecrafting level of this grind. I really hope to get a decent amount of levels because 61 runecrafting is not the best. But there we go, 62 runecrafting, we don't have many points right now, only 10 elemental and 6 catalytic. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much uh, all I needed to get to get one level, so this is really fast. We do have a pretty big level coming in here. Oh, we got Nature Altar as well. That's perfect. Let's go in and we should be getting the level here. 223 experience left. Let's go ahead and it's going to be 65 rune crafting. And that is big because that is death runes. Let's get that 65 and death runes. So now I will get some more money from doing this because obviously death runes is uh, probably one of the most valuable runes you can get at the current level I am. Alright, so it has been some time now and we are going to be getting 100 points after this game, I'm pretty sure. It says 100% there, but I think you have some uh, grace period to get some extra points. But uh, in a second here, when the game ends, we're going to be getting, hopefully exactly on the dot, yes, there we go. 101 elemental and 100 catalytic points, which means we have 100 loot to go for. So let's see what the first loot is going to be like. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and click on the reward guardian and anytime I get a collection log item, I'll show it to you guys. And there we go, that's the first one already, Abyssal Pearls, we're going to get a bunch of that, so kind of expect that. 
Oh, that is a collection log item as well. Intricate pouch. Pretty much, probably not much more rare than the pearls, but uh, pretty much on the same level. Oh, no way! Abyssal Lantern. I think that's 1 in 700. That is so nice. That's so good because you can actually use logs on that and you get more points when you do the minigame. So that's actually going to speed this grind up a bit. Man, that is so nice. And two intricate pouches right after that as well. I did not expect to get that. I had to bank everything and we have like 15 more permits to go. So not that many. I might as well do them all on video. Of course, all of the runes that I get from this as well is mainly going to be in the loot overall. I've tracked every rune that I've crafted as well as all of the ones I get here. And on the side on rune light where it tracks all the loot and everything. Everything that I get from this rift specifically will be included. So all of the loot in general, if I do not get the abyssal needle, is going to be very easy to track. So that's a good thing, but yeah, 100 need, uh, 100 loots, but no needle, and there you can see all the loot for 100 rifts. It's 600k, so not a lot of money, but we still have to open the intricate pouches at the end. There's a couple of different logs I was actually thinking about using for the lantern, but I think I decided on U logs because it gives a 10% chance to double the points that I get, which is not at the end, but when you put the actual like contribution points into the guardian, you get usually like 80 points, but now you have a chance of getting 160. This is the first game after using the lantern, and I decided to put everything into catalytic to see how much I could get. I'm at 701 points, and I think actually in that I got at least one time double points, but I think actually even twice. That is 8 overall points. The highest I've ever got before the lantern was 6 points in one game. So that is going to be so nice to use for the rest of the grind. I haven't really shown many of the levels I've been getting, but uh, I started at 61 and now I'm going to be getting 70 rune crafting. Not really a big level or anything, it doesn't really unlock anything, like uh, blood runes is at 77, which would be the next big step. And the next uh, pouch that you can use is at 75, so yeah, nothing too big here, but still a nice milestone to get. Alright, so we have another 100 points coming in here after the game, 100 catalytic energy and 102 elemental actually, so a bit much on that, but uh, that means 100 more loots to go, 200 overall, let's get the needle. What? No! I was like, I got the needle but no pop-up for the collection log and I get baited by a normal needle. Wow, that is not as rare as the needle, so it's not as bad. It's 1 in 120, I believe, and the needle is 1 in 300, of course, but... Uh, Oh, that is such a bait. Dude, the <laughs> Abyssal Blue Dye, really? Alright, that is 1 in 1200. There's three different colors you can get, and they're all 1 in 1200, so technically getting a dye is 1 in 400, but that is still more rare than getting the needle, so it's not looking good. No needle this time either, we have 5 more to go, so it's not looking good this time, but we do have 100 more after this as well. But, uh, do we have one more? Let's see. Yep, that is all of them. Let's do a check. So we've done 200 now, so let's get the last 100 points. And hopefully we get a needle that time. But we can also look at the uh, bank here. I have quite a lot of intricate pouches. I have 13. And we have the talismans and everything. So I will have everything up in the end, regardless if I win or lose. So we are not done yet, but I thought this was kind of cool, and I, I don't know, if you're a very avid uh, Guardians of the Rift player, you might understand. I've been doing this pretty AFK and not the most efficient way. That is 100 runs for soon, I mean, kind of done. 300 points, but um, yeah, you can definitely do it faster than that. I've just been kind of slacking AFKing, and it's been kind of fun. After the last clip I went to bed and uh, today we now woke up and finished the grind and this is the last 100 points for the Guardian of the Rift for the accumulation of 300 total points, 117 overall rifts completed. So let's go ahead and see if we can get to the Abyssal Needle or if we're going to be losing this challenge. Alright, so let's go ahead and check the reward guardian, 200 times looted and 100 loots ready to go, so let's go ahead and search the guardian. Oh man, abyssal red die. Not the item we want, but uh, two different dies, that's pretty cool. I think you can actually trade them in for different colors, so I have two blue dies or two red dies now technically. Oh, second normal needle coming in. 
The one in 120, so not as rare as the Abyss on Needle, but it's always a bait. I thought I actually had it there. It is not looking good to win this challenge. Only 10 more to go. Soon it's going to be only 5 more to go. There we go, 5 more to go. Yeah, it's not looking like we're going to win this. Let's see the last ones, maybe 2 or 3 more. Let's see. And that is the last one. So, we did lose this challenge, but in terms of actually getting unique items, we were kind of lucky. We just got unlucky on the Abyssal Needle. That actually seems to be like a theme in this series. I keep getting rarer items than I actually want, but uh, end up losing the challenge in the end. It is now time to open all the 15 intricate pouches I have, and these can actually give hard clue scrolls, so if I do get one, I'm going to stop and do that as well, and include it in the giveaway loot. So let's have a look at if I can get one of those. Only experience lamps, some runes, and oh, there we go, okay, so let's complete that. Alright, completed it, and we're back with the last 6 intricate pouches, and oh, we got them, I think this is the most rare item, it's fashionscape, it's so good looking. I don't know if it has any effect, let's inspect it. There's a note inside, you can read it. Oh, some lore, I guess, but... Um, wow, that is really cool. Dragon Med Helm, and an XP Lamp, and some runes. But, wow, that is so cool. The Lost Bag is actually kind of rare. It's on... The, the drop rate is on the screen, but... Uh, yeah, it looks really good as well. And it's not tradable, so this is the only way of getting it. Of course, we got one hard clue from that as well, so let's go ahead and open that. A very mediocre one, but a lot of purple sweet, so still 124, almost 125k worth. So usually I'm going to give away 50% of all the money that I earned during this grind, but just by looking at this inventory, this is all the runes I crafted, everything I got from the reward guardian, just overall everything. It's not going to be a lot. 4.4 million. And adding the hard clue reward on top of this is like, what, 4.6 almost? 4.55 million? I'm just going to give away all of that. So the giveaway for this video is 4,550,000 GP. And if you want to win that, comment anything, include your RuneScape name, and that's about it. Join the Discord if you want to have a better chance of uh, me contacting you. You have 48 hours after this video is up to post a comment. A big thank you to Edward Bobsled and Gustavo Abro for supporting the channel as members. If you want to join for only $3 a month, click the join button below the video. Thanks. Now before we actually end the video, there is only one thing left to do, and that is spend the Abyssal Pearls. And also I did mention you can actually change the color on these, so I'm going to be changing the blue one to a red one. So you talk to this one, and I will do that, and then after a bit you get to change it. So I would like to swap it to a red dye. And then now we have two red dies and we're going to be trading them again and we're going to be buying the top and the bottom of the items, the robe of the eye and the robe bottoms of the eye. We still have 195 but I don't think we can buy anything more with that. So that is two items, we're now going to dye red, let's do that, yes. And the other one as well, and let's equip both of them, and that is now how we look after doing 300 reward permits in the Guardians of the Rift minigame. But I do hope you guys did enjoy this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Remember to leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Actually only 40% uh, of the people watching this series is actually subscribed. Make sure you uh make sure you you're doing that. But otherwise, take care.